hallelujah hallelujah once more again the lord bless my beautiful people again for joining in the name of jesus i want to use this medium to welcome everyone for in jesus name this is an urgent prophetic word and i pray that may it find find you well in the name of jesus i just want us to stay tuned from the beginning to the end this is an urgent world your kingdom's power is weeping they found out all this about you your kingdom spouse is weeping because they found out all this about you hallelujah and I believe the reason why God is revealing God is revealing some someone's error for 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 us again for us to get as a church to learn and correct it from happening also maybe to share it with someone not to be victim of of such in the name of Jesus so the Lord dropped this word in me and the Lord asked me to record this an urgent prophetic word okay before we move on the further again I want to use this medium I welcome everyone if this is your first time God bless you this is prophetic blessings with Pastor Bazi may the good Lord bless you as you're subscribing you're liking you're sharing for in Jesus name welcome family I love you all thank you for coming in Jesus mighty name so this particular prophetic word of today is talking about your kingdom's power is weeping so I saw a lady crying I saw a lady crying and this is also this was also happening in both relationship so maybe you're watching me and this actually what you're going through and you're asking yourself father I don't know what to do like maybe you 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 are about taking a decision and you you just needed a confirmation you say i'm tired i'm tired i'm tired i'm tired so when the lord gave me this particular prophetic word one thing just came to me uh there is a lady i was praying praying with on tiktok i believe she'll come across this video yeah because she's following me online maybe she'll come across this video and even her comment at the comment section you know so when i met this lady online I was talking and prophesying to this lady. I was trying to tell her some things. She was not believing. Then I told this lady one thing, that this is what is happening, this is what is happening, this is what is happening. The lady did not believe. Like, okay, I told her what the husband was doing. So the lady was like, am I coming, am I kidding, or I'm just coming to spoil her relationship or something like that. So the moment I, I end talking with this girl, this girl just ignored. The next day, this, this girl just went and took the husband's phone, put a pattern, like the password, just draw the, pass, the password, the, the phone open. She saw fresh conversation. You know what we call fresh conversation, right? Yeah, when your husband, there's a different when your husband cheated. Maybe it was six years, six months, one year, six years. This was see fresh, fresh conversation as they are chatting, chatting. So they have been doing things together. So everything that I told this lady through prophet through prophecy, she found it she right-handed. So she was like, Man of God, how do you know all this? Man of God, I told her no. I believe God revealed to redeem. The reason the, the reason why God used me in exposing all these things in, in your family is because God wanted me to step in and do something. That was the first thing I told her. Then I told her we are going to pray over it and God will help us. The lady was like, no, man of God, I'm tired. I've been in tears. I just want to give up. How can my husband cheat on me? After everything I've done to, to, to him, this one, this one, this one, this one. But one thing for sure, people of God, that I know, is that one, there is no perfect man. There is no perfect woman. If there was a perfect woman, that means Adam could have been the one to get married to the perfect woman. Because the wife of Adam was given to Adam by God. When they disobeyed they, they disobey God in the Garden of Eden, when God came asking Adam, where are you? What was the response of Adam? God is... is he, he, he. Okay, the Lord, God asked Adam, what, why did you disobey me and eat this food? Adam complained, is the woman. So that means even Adam complained of the woman God gave him. That's to show that there's no perfect woman and there's no perfect man. Most of the time, you feel as if your husband has done the worst. You're seeing someone outside thinking that that person is the best. Unless, except you go and hear the story of that man outside, you know that maybe your husband was 
was even better. So your kingdom spouse is crying because they discovered this concerning you. Maybe you're watching me as a woman, as a man, that you're about to leave your home because of a little error you, your husband committed. Maybe as a man, you're about to abandon your wife because of some little error. See, one thing with God, I've learned a lot. I don't just judge people because of their errors. There are some certain errors that when I, if I see people commit, commit it, I will not judge them because I know it takes maturity. There are some certain decisions that it takes maturity. So God has helped me with knowledge to, to look at some things not in the physical, but with the spiritual eyes. I'm telling you the gospel truth. One of the things I was sharing with one of my, my pastor friends, I was telling the pastor friend that be careful the way we, we should be careful in general, the way we, the, the way we handle the situation. We should not judge people anyhow. No matter what people do, like we should try to like look inside what was the cause why were they in so there are a lot of things that we need to check there are a lot of things that we need to observe there are a lot of things that we need to to look before we pass a decision so if you are watching me that you have been in tears glory to master jesus that god is talking to you maybe you wanted to leave and you were asking god for direction to go thank god i am here the reason why god sent me here with this prophetic word is for you not to go because you leave it is at your own risk. Because that gold you are seeing outside, you didn't see the gold very well. The gold might turn to be stone tomorrow. It is better for you to stay and manage your gold. You already know that this is your gold. No matter how painful this your gold is, it's your gold. Leaving your gold going outside is an error. In the name of Jesus, wipe your tears and try to settle things. I know it's painful. Wipe your tears, build back your home. Listen to me, that man you, you think that he will treat you well outside, he will not do anything, he will be worse than that one. I know, but I'm not here to encourage men to break the heart of women, I'm not here to encourage men to cheat, I'm not here to encourage men to do things that will cause the, their wife in pain, no. But I'm just here to tell somebody that you should know that going, leaving your home is not the solution. There are battles you, you don't go, you fight the battle to the end. I'm telling us the truth, the gospel truth. Those that have been in, in marriage for years, ask them that mommy, you have been in marriage for 30 years. Tell me how many how many years have you rejoiced? Can you calculate? They will tell you 75% of my stay in this marriage has been tough time. Only 25% of happiness is supposed to be so. But listen, they have grown in that point of maturity, understanding their self and hiding their problem. They don't longer query. They don't longer do such a thing. There are some things you just let it go. I pray for someone that you will not regret. Though you have found the error of your kingdom spouse, of your partner, of your wife, or your husband, go down, God revealed to redeem. The reason why God has revealed it, God knows that you can be able to bear it. You can be able to solve it out. Solve it out. Solve it out. Give it a try. I pray that may you give it a try. For in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Thank you for watching, family. God bless you. Make sure you're blessing your brother or your sister with this prophetic word so that they should not take any decision out of anger. God bless you all. Amen.